Hey, hola amigos, welcome to a new vlog. Right now, I'm in Colombia, in an area called Guatape, and I'm by the world famous rock, La Piedra, which I believe just translates to the rock. <laughs> you can climb all the way up to the top, and they claim that it is the best view in the world. So we're gonna put that to the test. We're gonna go up top and see what it looks like. ¿Cómo te llamas? Elmar. Elmar. Steve. Steve, tú. Josh. Josh? Yeah. Jackson. Come on, come. Jackson. Yeah. Me gusta Steve. Steve. Jackson. Josh. 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 Yeah, now you got it. You try. Josh. <laughs> Cost of ticket 18,000 pesos. This warning is so specific. It's prohibited to consume fruits and ice cream on the stairs. So apparently there's 660 steps. Right now, we're at number 200. 250. 350. 450. 500. 600. 650. Woo. Yeah. Woo. We made it to the top up here. Looks like there's some restaurants, refreshment stands. But the best part is this amazing view. 360 around. Hola. Hola. <laughs> and I love to show you with this camera, but I think. It's time to fly. You guys ready? All right, we're back in the town of Guatape right now. And all of the buildings are so unique. There's a lot of art on the wall. This is my first road walking into town, but cobblestone roads, very beautiful town. Let's go explore. All right, so we just made it back to the hostel, and we're staying at a place called Lakeview Hostel. And tonight is a very special night because they have salsa lessons, and Jackson is so excited for these salsa lessons. No salsa. <laughs> no bueno. Josh, you doing some lessons? I'll have a, I'll have a trundle. Cool. I just went upstairs. There's actually a bar and restaurant up there, so I think we're gonna go learn how to salsa up there. <laughs> Let's do it. So we're a little late to this salsa party. We're kind of interrupting over here. <laughs> What's your name? Ruth. Ruth, where are you from? Uh, I'm from England and the party was going great. And then this one, and that one over there. This one. <laughs> yeah, we, we came up and they were already dancing and we said, hey, can we join? And they cut the music and, but the music just went back on. So people are dancing and we're going to try to learn. So let's do it. Hey, 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 h
that where we're going to is about 26k away and it's all downhill from here but on the way back it's very steep uphill and they keep saying oh don't worry there's a bus you can take we're not gonna take the bus you need to take a bus for sure <laughs> okay she's saying right now what do you say you need to take a bus okay <laughs> for carrying your bike because you will make it catch you for a beers later tonight do you want a bet right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. One bit. One beer. We just bet. Yes. One beer. <laughs> One beer. Sarah's buying us beers later. Uh, <laughs> Alright, we're about to hit the road. John. Let the games begin. Alright guys, let me just tell you that this is not easy. <laughs> All right, we're taking a quick little pit stop because I think we're about three quarters of the way there. But the first quarter of the ride was like up and downhill and the hills going up was just, <laughs> it was hard. Going downhill was nice and then we hit the top of this mountain and just started going down and down and down and down. We've been riding downhill for maybe 15 minutes straight. So riding up that hill, it's gonna be a little challenging. That bus seems really nice right about now. All right, after a nice little 27 kilometer bike ride, we've made it to a first location called Las Tangas, which we were told is a waterfall, but we don't see a waterfall anywhere. It's okay, it's still so beautiful out here. Check this out, I got a little diving board right here. Woo, beautiful water. There's a rope swing over there. Oh, kids jumping out of trees. Woo. All right, so Jackson here, He's a pretty experienced backflipper, and I have almost no experience. I've tried once before in the Philippines at Sugba Lagoon. And it didn't really go so well, but he's trying to give me some tips, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. You just gotta try. That's what it's about, right? Life's about trying new things, trying to conquer your fears. <laughs> the worst thing you can do is a two meter belly flop or back flop. Let's go for it. I'm nervous. Don't really know it, what I'm doing. And like lean straight back, pick my yeah, hands up over straight, my head. Yeah. Get out nice and far, big jump. Big jump up and back. I'm very nervous. Because <laughs> you got a big jump up, back. It's weird because I'm on an angle. <laughs> it, is, it is a little hard. But. One, wait. <laughs> I just gotta like turn my brain off, right? Yeah. So you turn your brain off and just go. Yep, straight back over. Yep, it's exactly what? like that. <laughs> One, two, Three, five. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> yeah. Had a fun time playing with some kids, jumping off this rope swing over here. But there's one more place we want to go to, and the last bus leaves at five, and I don't want to miss that. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the next place. All right, we just hopped on our bikes and rode about another kilometer or two to this place called El Tracadero, which is. Just another watering hole on the same river. It's really nice, a lot of people are hanging out here, but we're pretty hungry, so we're gonna head back into town now, get some food. <laughs> All right, the boys are headed back uphill, 27K. Yeah, this is just like, it's like the Tour de France minus all the drugs um, <laughs> and the training. <laughs> and the bike. Good luck. Thanks, man. Okay, three, two, one. Woo, and they're off. Well, I just made it back to the hostel and it's almost 6.30 and it's probably gonna take a while for Jackson and Josh to get back here. I'm pretty glad I took that bus back. It's about to get dark, it's gonna get cold, that's not gonna be an easy ride. But they wanted the challenge, they were up for the challenge, so I'm sure they're gonna prevail and it's gonna be worth it in the end. But for right now, I'm gonna take a shower and upstairs here at Lakeview Hostel, they have a Thai restaurant. So I'm gonna go get some Thai food. Oh yeah! So for our last day here in Guatape, we're going on a little boat tour with a company called Columbia Getaway. And I'm very excited because I've heard great things about it. So let's go. All right, 
So right now we are at the property of Pablo Escobar and you're not allowed to take videos here, only photos. And usually I would be one to not listen to the rules, but the tour company Getaway Colombia has requested that I don't take video so their tour company doesn't get in trouble. So I'm gonna follow the rules. So I'm gonna show you some photos and explain what I see from here on out. history is the transformation after Pablo Escobar mm -hmm. because in the last 15 years the transformation is huge and now Colombia is safe and it's beautiful that's why now we have more tourists inside the country okay so the transformation is really huge like Medellin Medellin 15 years uh, before you, you couldn't live visit, there visit also. Mm -hmm. but right now it's one of the most developed cities in South America yeah, so we have always bad part of the history and good part of the history. <laughs> Every country. Yeah. Boom, we just finished the tour with our wonderful guide, <laughs> Lisette, right here. And it was an amazing experience. First, we went around on the lake and she taught us all about the history. And actually, it's very interesting to learn that this is not a natural lake, right? No, it's not a natural lake. So it was, it was made about 40 years ago? Exactly. Cool, we learned many interesting <laughs> facts about the surrounding area, about the history of this place, and then went to Pablo Escobar's house, house uh -huh. mansion, property, and it was a great experience. There's so many other things that she taught us that you're gonna have to come here yourself to learn about, but highly recommend Columbia Getaway. Lisette is an awesome tour guide, as well as everyone else here. Say what's up, guys. Hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> Such a cool experience. Great staff, everyone's very friendly, so. If you come to Guatape, you gotta come check out Colombia Getaway. <laughs> yeah, it's mean, just a bit of a rush to get the bus by the time the plane, so. Yeah, man. Say, dude. It's great meeting you. Boys are out of here. They gotta go try to catch a plane in a couple hours, so. <laughs> <laughs> Spontaneous. Yeah, but it was fun hanging out with you guys. You guys are chill. Legend. <laughs> Can't wait to see the vlogs. Yeah. yeah. See you guys. Say, dude. All right, they're out of here. I'm gonna go get my bags and get on a bus, head to Medellin, but. Ah, Guatape, man, this is a beautiful area. If you're coming to Colombia, I would definitely recommend taking a trip here. It's only about two hours away from Medellin, quick bus ride, so it's, it's worth it. Much more quiet, peaceful, just ah, look at that nature, man, it's so nice. Also, where I stayed, I'd recommend checking out Lakeview Hostel. There's also a bar upstairs, so they got everything you need. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'll see you in the next one, peace. Oh, 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 oh,